Mic check, one, two, one, two. What's good, everybody? So today we're talking not wallets, but we're gonna go over first off the brand. So this is from Exeter. You might have seen these all over your social media. These are their hard ridged wallets. They have the little pop in, pop out sleeves. They have their cash holders, whatever. They do them in aluminium. This one's actually a glow in the dark one. They do them in leather, all handcrafted an exquisite company. But today we're not gonna be talking about wallets, oh no. They've changed the game and they've moved on to something new and this has been sent out to me for review, test over, look over, whatever you wanna call it. They have no say in this, but they have given me some directions on what to sort of explain to you and go over in terms of detail, specifications, whatnot. But they have no say in what I think of the product. Now it is a big product. It is an expensive one, around the 230, 240 pound mark. So, you know, I do appreciate them sending this out. It is a huge opportunity and a huge goal of mine to work with some of the top end companies out there. So I do appreciate them sending this. Let's get it on the table. We've got a top down view. We can have a look over it. And of course, at the end, the conclusion of who I think this would probably be best for. So let's jump on in and bring out the duffel bag. So this here is the extra duffel backpack. Now, why I say backpack, we'll get into in a little bit. But first off, you can see the size of this thing. This is meant to hold the Weekender, which is another one of their backpacks. But I must say, this can withstand at least a suitcase full and still be classed as hand luggage. So if you are on your travels and you just wanna take hand luggage, you don't wanna take a massive suitcase and have to check it in, you can grab one of these, save yourself a pretty penny at the airport and just use this as your hand luggage, even though it's got the compatibility of holding a full suitcase. So we're gonna break it down into sections of what is what, but first off, let's go over some of the specifications of this thing. The extra duffel backpack, and then as you go through, you've got some cards here that you can read. So we've got water resistant exterior, which is this nice sort of rubberized material. And they are also waterproof zippers because they again have this rubber material around this sort of this sort of lip here, I don't know if you can see that. Then you've got these little carry handles here, but they can be hidden, which is a cool feature. They can get slid into these side pockets here if you're not using them for storage, and then they disappear. That's it, they're gone. But the rest of that stuff we're gonna go over in a little while. Now, first off, I just wanna say the quality of this thing, incredible. So I believe this can hold up to 43 litres. Obviously, you're not going to fill it with water, but they go by litres and measures of how much this roughly can take, which is a huge amount for such a compact little, well, <laughs> I say compact little bag, but it's quite big. But now the bag itself on its own is roughly around 2.2 kg. So it's not that heavy at all. It's only obviously when you fill it full of your stuff. Now the materials are actually made out of one tarpaulin, believe it or not. And the other one is Arpet, which I haven't really heard of, but tarpaulin, everyone knows as your standard, you sort of put tarpaulin over your pool, or you put tarpaulin over your car or something to keep it dry in the winter weather and all that jazz. So they've used that in here because everyone knows it is a very water resistant material. So just reading off this little label here, the dimensions are 21.6 inches by 13 by four inches and by nine inches. So we've got 21 by six inches will be the length, 13 by four I'm guessing is this way, and then the nine inches is the depth. It holds up to 13 inch laptop so again you can use this if you are on your travels and you have tech because this outer shell here being rather protective will not only keep your tech wear or your gear completely dry it will also keep it safe and secure with inside this all right so now let's go over the actual bag itself so on the side here as you can see i'm gonna do this so you get a top down view You've got this nice logo here, and then there is that one pocket if you wanna hide these little straps away. So what you do is you just push that in there. Bish, bash, bosh, seamless, strapless. As you can see, the straps are hidden in the pockets. So if you're not using them pockets, you can use them to hide the straps. Now we're getting to the reason why there is strap hiders. You've got these little back pieces here. Now at the bottom of the bag, I'm gonna have to show it on this camera over here. The bottom of the bag, again, you can have your tripod in there, you can have towels, skateboard, whatever would fit in these straps right there. Going back to the front again, you have these straps here, but you can take these ones off if you wish. Towel in there, if you're going to the gym, going swimming, the beach, whatever you wanna use this for, you could use it for a majority of stuff. And then on the top, you've got more straps there. And then on the other side, you've again got more straps here that do attack, but they have given you an extra pocket with a zip that goes in for your phone or your key your wallet, whatever you need to have quick access. So now the moment of truth is we're gonna open up this thing and see what you get inside. But first off, I'm gonna say this, I need to take out all my son's clothes. I put all of his clothes in here to uh, to bulk it out to show you what it looks like. But so as you can see, when I open it up here, it's got these two huge compartments that you have both filled up <laughs> with my son's clothes. So I'm gonna empty them out and I'm gonna show you how much these actually held 
just having these two. And then we'll go over the other aspects of the bag itself. So this is one side. I mean, these weren't folded or anything. And that is the second pile. So this all got within that duffel bag. To me, that's insane. This is like a month's worth of clothes for a child. The bag is empty. It holds its form, so if you do use a lot of stuff, it will hold its shape nicely for when you go and put it back inside. It's not one of these bags or suitcases that once it's got nothing in, it sort of goes all flimsy again. So this is what I like, the fact that I can unpack at a hotel and instantly have the same space as I came in and put it back in. As you can see, these are huge compartments, very well padded as well. They've got that waterproof insert and again, the waterproof zip on the outside. From the first pocket we have here, it says a little logo changing the way you carry. And then you've got this nice little latch here and then you can put your 13 inch laptop that goes all the way down. With these two mesh pockets here as well for chargers, controllers, batteries, SD cards, SSDs, whatever you need, they will go in there and it will stretch to give you some more space. But I love how this holds so much in such a sleek design. And then on this side, you've got the first top pocket here with this nice waterproof material inside. That one goes right down to this bit here, down to the second zip, which then does the same for that pocket. So you can have socks, pants, whatever accessories you need. So shampoo, conditioner, water bottle, whatever. You can fit that in there. You can take this to the gym. You can take this on holiday. You can take this anywhere you go. And that's why I think this is such a versatile piece of kit. So on their website, they do sell as well these little tech blocks and also cable management like pouches. So if you are using this for your camera or for any of your gear, you know you're gonna be safe and secure. You can get the little cube that comes in with your camera, your batteries, cables, whatever you need, and slot that in the bottom. You can get three of them and slot them in there, or you can have all your cable management nicely sorted, and then on the other side have all your gear. Or again, you could have all your gear on one side, all your clothes on the other, go on a nice vacay, go into a nice business trip somewhere, wedding, a venue, an event, anything that needs sort of all your gear, you can take this because it looks so sleek and so stylish, this would fit right in. If you walked into any sort of event or gig or anything holding this baby, they would think this guy is business. So now let's go over why they've got these pockets to hide the straps because, well, you're not gonna hold it like this because that's just uncomfy. Well, the cool thing about this is not it's just a carry case or a duffel bag. The reason they call it a duffel backpack because they supply you with these. These are detachable backstrap straps. Is that how you say it, backstrap straps? So all you need to do is put one end here, that clips into there, and then with the other end, you just get this nice little clip here and attach it to the bottom bit there, and then you have yourself a backpack strap attached to a duffel bag. This is revolutionary. Now with the straps attached, you literally can just fling it over your shoulder and you are good to go. You now have a backpack. Yes, it is a big backpack. It's stylish, it's fitting. You could wear this to the event, quickly take it off, boom, and then all your gear is ready to go. Grab your stuff, get to the shoot, zip it back up, put it to the side, whatever. And then once you actually finish with this, the cool thing about this is if you unzip one side here, once it's completely empty, and you take off your backpack straps here, put them both inside your compartment like so. Now, the cool part is you fold this bit, into that open compartment, which nicely tucks away, just like so, ready for the bag to be stored away nice and neatly inside this extra cotton bag with your purchase. And now that duffel bag is away, ready for your next adventure. So that has been the duffel backpack. Again, this thing is TSA approved for carry-on, even though it can withstand the volume of a suitcase. And yes, it can be carried on your back. And this whole thing here has been made out of recyclable goods and it is weatherproof. So if you're looking for a suitcase, which is carry-on, that can withstand the high heavens of rain, snow, sleet, hail, thunder, lightning, anything out there, then you know where to go. I've also got you a cheeky little discount code. If you use the code Callum AFK at checkout, you save yourself a pretty penny. But I just wanna say a massive thank you to the company for sending this out. I am actually heading to London next week, so I shall be using this. But keep your eye out for a few more videos because there will be a few coming when I get ready to head off. But other than that, it's time to come to a conclusion and my overall thoughts. Starting off with the price. Now, yes, 238 pounds is a hell of a lot of money for a lot of people, but when you're looking at suitcases and you want the best of the best, you're probably gonna pay around three, 400 anyway. So why not get yourself one that can one, be with you at all times and not get lost in luggage. Two, be absolutely waterproof so you know for a fine fact 
that all of your stuff is safe and secure inside of this bag. Three, be able to protect your gear from any shocks, any falls, any damages when you're dragging it about or if someone puts it in their boot of their car, hits a bump or whatever, you just know that you're safe and secure. So when it comes down to the price, I actually feel like it is worth what they're asking. 238 is nowhere near as much as what you would need to pay if your laptop got smashed, if your phone was broke, your camera was broke, or any of your valuables inside got soaking wet and damaged. It's easier to come to terms with how expensive this actually is because it is saving you a lot more in the long run. Quality wise, I can't fault it. I mean, the zippers don't get stuck. It's a smooth transition each time. The outer material is well made and you can definitely feel the quality in it when you are holding it. It looks absolutely stylish. I mean, I could take that anywhere and it would just look the part. So material wise, 100% they've nailed it with this one. The thing for me is maybe having a few different alternatives like a smaller size because again not everyone's going to need that much of compatibility for wherever they're going they don't want to take a huge duffel bag if they're only going for a day event so maybe do some smaller sizes or some alternative options in the future that would be nice to see now my conclusion for who this would probably be is not your everyday joe you know you're not going to be taking this to school you're not going to be taking it to college you're not going to be taking it every single day where you're going so make sure if you are planning a trip or you know okay in a few months time i want to be traveling the world or i need to go here for a business meeting for a few days a week maybe then yes, this right here is probably one of your best options because it's carry-on, it's simple, it's easy, it's lightweight, you can wear it on your back. You know all of your stuff is with you no matter where you're going. It's for the people that have all the equipment that they need to keep safe and with them at all times, definitely using this. If you're an everyday go to college, go to uni, or you want to take this for a weekend away, I mean, it could work, but it might be a bit too big for you. Just think about the overall, how many times are you going to use this? Or is it worth the money to save the products that you might be using. Now I can use this because if I go to do a photo shoot or I go to do some sort of media coverage, I can take this with all my gear inside and know it's waterproof, it's damage proof, it's safe, it's with me, it's on my back. Normally I'm taking a Pelican case, I've got what's meant to be like a makeup thing, I have to wheel that around. Instead I can fit it all in this bag and know it's all there, it's on my back. Let's go. So I just wanna say again, a huge thank you to X for sending this out. It is an absolute honor to be working with you and they don't have any say in this video. So this is all my own words and my own opinion. It might be different for other people. You might see it and go, that's way too expensive. It's way too big. It's way too bulky, whatever. That's completely understandable. That's down to you and your opinion and I respect that. So if you have any questions about this bag or let me know your thoughts in the comments below about what you think, if it is too big, if it's if it's too expensive, whatever. It's always good to get the feedback of other people and be nice to have a little conversation as well in the comments. So, so again, thank you for sponsoring this video with the product. Thank you to everyone that's watched till the end. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, notification bell as it really does help the channel grow. And other than that, remember, capture, create, captivate, and I'll see you all in the next video.